Welcome to Florida Holidays and we are now in Wellington Garden City and hope you enjoy. Hi and welcome to today's vlog. We are in Welling Garden City which is situated about 25 minutes from Luton Airport which makes it perfect for a pre-flight stayover. With that in mind we chose the Gatehouse which is a travel lodge which was very centrally located. Uh, we did have to park at the railway station which was around the corner and that cost us an extra £7.10 but as you can see £43.99 for one night stay, very reasonable for three people. So let's have a little look around. As you can see, we're coming into reception here. There's our little granddaughter in the video. Uh, panning around, you can see this is quite a wide, nicely open area. Over in the back is where they do the buffet breakfast and the food, which we'll show you later on. Uh, we're not going to be staying for an evening meal, but we will do be doing breakfast. And just panning around, you can see the main reception bit where you check in. So let's have a look around the room. We stayed in room 137 which was on the front side of the building overlooking the main town. Uh, it was a very, very large room, but we weren't impressed with it. As you can see there, there's no real proper wardrobe. Um, and because of the size of the room, there was only one little heater in the corner, which we'll show a better look of later, and an air condition unit, which we couldn't seem to get to work at all. Um, nice bed though, and uh, my my little uh, fetish of having a plug socket either side, which was good, which I was quite, quite pleased about. Um, it's nice to be able to charge your phones up. You haven't got to keep going in and out of bed to do that. And panning to the left, you can see this is uh, where my granddaughter was sleeping. It's a bit of a put yard bed. I do prefer, if you're having a family room, to have a, a good sized spare bed. But um, that was a bit of a put yard job. But uh, as you can see, um, it's quite a large room. We already uh, helped ourselves to a cup of tea at the time of filming. You can probably notice on the table there's a hairdryer which my wife asked for. The room doesn't actually have one so I went to reception and they kindly supplied us with one with no, no quibble at all. Also there's quite a good selection of teas, coffees, milks, sugars. Uh, laid out the kettle was nice and clean. As you can see there's the menus for the food. We didn't bother with say only other than breakfast. It was our intention to go out and have a look around anyway. The hotel is um, on the main drag of uh, Welling Garden City and uh, Across the road from the hotel, you've got a variety of um, fast food outlets, a little grocery store, there's a gym around there, uh, and Sainsbury's across the road as well. Tucked around the corner from where the hotel was, there was also a, a large shopping centre, which is also going to come up in this video. Um, as you can see, nice big TV on the wall there. We uh, didn't use that, I don't think at all, so I can't comment on whether that worked or not. So let's uh, take a little look at the bathroom. And there it is, and it's... Uh, I have to say it was very very clean. I think it had been refitted fairly recently. The fittings and that everything was spotless. Um, not keen on soap dispensers. I, I do prefer some toiletries to be put in a room but there again at that price I suppose they are doing it on the cheap. But uh, it is nice to see some proper toiletries. Very very clean shower head um, over the top of the bath. Yeah so overall we were very very pleased with it. And uh, as you can see in the bottom of the bath there, that's actually protective mats. So, yeah, I thought it might have been the bath might have been repaired at some point, but it's not. It's there so you don't slip when you're in the shower. And uh, panning around again, nice clean towels. And I have to do my mandatory toilet check, which uh, I have to say was also clean. No problems there either. So my only room issue really was the radiator in, in the bedroom and the air conditioning unit on the ceiling, which didn't seem to really do anything at all. Anyway, next morning it was breakfast buffet time. So we went down there, it was about nine o'clock. Um, I think breakfast finished at 10, so we were the last people in there uh, and we kind of got the leftovers. There was nothing freshly cooked, it was all stored, uh, as you can see as I pan round. So breakfast was a little bit disappointing, maybe because of the time we were there. Had we got there a little bit earlier in the morning, it could have been a different story. Overall, we gave the food experience a 6 out of 10. Could have been better, I had worse, but it could have been better. Overall, there was quite a good choice. There was hot breakfast if you wanted it. Uh, there was croissants, cereals, donuts, and uh, plenty of hot tea and coffee if you required it. One good thing is that the kids eat free, so if you are coming with a family, it's not going to break the bank for you to eat in there. Anyway, we're going to uh, come out of the hotel now and do a tour round of Welling Garden City. I've done some music on the video so uh, you won't hear too much more from me on this one so uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the video hope you like it please like and subscribe if you get a chance and you'll hear from me on the next one